the first time I'll be doing a voiceover, but today I will be um, setting up my journal covers. These are my first six ring binder journals and um, they're from Luca Lab. I just posted um, my haul with them. Definitely worth it. Check them out. They're still having sales. Um, so I bought the six ring binder archive size and that's what we're going to be starting with today. So I also bought a separate, um, what do you call this, zipper pouch in yellow. Well, I originally bought it in clear, but um, they ran out. So they asked me if I wanted to change to another color, which I did. And I changed to yellow because it matched the hologram, um, holographic effect of the six ring binder that I got on the archive size. And you'll just see me struggling for a bit. Anyways, moving on to the quality of it. It's, it's very good. It doesn't have like that plastic smell that a lot of, I guess, other things have. And it did, well, this cover didn't actually come from this purchase. It came with the teddy bear um, six ring archive binder that's like a yearly planner. Um, and I'm just filling it with the gray grid note um, refill, which is I think around three dollars, around that that price. And the paper quality is super good. Um, yeah, I have no complaints. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know if you can tell, but I had no plans whatsoever how to set this up. I kind of had an idea of what I wanted out of this journal and that's basically not caring about what's inside it so this is like my conscious stream of consciousness journal and also my swatch journal I will be making it so that whatever thought comes into my head during that day uh, I can just write it down without like having to decorate it or anything or like looking at it and trying to make it pretty, if that makes sense. And I also have got this white A6 journal and no, it's not A6, archive journal, but it's almost the same size. And I chose white because I wanted to pair it with purple, which is this paper cover that I bought separately. It's like another pack from um, Luca Lab. And the eight peach, I guess, thing that I'm posting actually came with an A peach um, plushie that I got and I knew I wanted to keep it somewhere put it maybe in like a diary entry or whatnot or a journal entry and decided to put it in as my paper cover and I'm just using um, the glue runners I find them much easier to use than regular glue sticks because they're not as messy and I just have to roll them on as if I would um, the white out that I already used super convenient and they stick well and I guess a good part of this is if I take it off it's fine for this paper cover because it is thicker paper and it's a little smoother I, I made this video quite a while like three days ago and I've already wanted to change how my journal looks like so Maybe I'll update. And I'm just putting stickers of my information in there, uh, which is why it's kind of blurred out. But it is going to be my journal. And I'm thinking plain is like the better way to go with this paper cover, just because there's already decorations on the cover itself with hearts and like raindrops and arrows. And also, a peach is so cute. I do not want to cover a peach at all. <laughs> And we're just gonna flip through so this is supposedly like a monthly planner style it's the filler that came with it but I did not really need that because I have a separate planner so since I wanted to be a journal I wanted to do like a page a day and that's why I'm gonna be covering the Thursday to Sunday um, labels and work through those lines in hindsight, I should have just 
replace the filler with a gray one or a gray grid down or like a plain gradation one but it's fine <laughs> it works out and i have a habit of like reusing paper that i've cut before so this one is a gradation note from in the archive size that i originally wanted to use as a cover but i made a mistake on it so on the back of this is like a mistake using a pen brush pen and i just rip it off and i'll be using it to cover the days of the week in this page yeah again i didn't really have an idea of what i wanted this to look like or a theme or anything i just went with purple because i need to use that paper i made a mistake in and i happen to have some planet galaxy stickers that were also purple that matched the gradation paper that I used so that's why I'm using it and this like set came with stickers it's just me casually having a hard time taking them out they're a perfect fit but might be too perfect that it's a little hard to take them out sometimes um, just to see saw me struggling but these stickers that I um, the, I forgot what they're called I think they're line stickers from Luca Lab they're a better fit super tiny and compact and very pretty and match almost any colors and now we'll be moving on to my planner so this is the 2021 boyhood diary from luca lab and i got it in i believe it's called glam pink but it's this baby pink cloth cover with um it came with 2021 refills and it came with four i think cardstock paper covers and you can choose which ones you'd like to use um, for the front and the back if you'd like I ended up choosing the pink and blue yellow for my front cover. So if you've seen my collab haul video, I got extra inserts for my A5 as well. And one of them is the A5 pocket, the six pocket one. And I'm mainly gonna use it to store uh, mini cards probably like flake stickers as well as like washi samples that I get from pen pals or ones that I make myself if like I want to bring it with me somewhere if I well it's not gonna happen anytime soon but if I go to the library or something like that it just makes it convenient plus I can store cute photos there if I don't know where to put them yet yeah I'm, I'm struggling because some of the holes for this insert was not completely cut out, so I had to do it myself. And also opening it was, was quite hard, but this one is the um, pocket with only two large pockets. So this one is more for storing memo pads and uh, prints as well. Or many postcards. So I might end up putting mine there. And I'm just putting um, a monthly and weekly refill insert because, as I mentioned, this one doesn't start until 2021 and there's still a few weeks left for 2020. So I'm going to be using this insert to just wait out the time until the 2021 boyhood diary inserts can be used and also I want to make Christmas spreads so I need monthly and weekly spreads for those so the weekly spreads even the monthly ones are undated which is super convenient because I don't 
necessarily stick to my planner completely in the sense that I don't go by date. Sometimes I would combine dates and like have tasks to do in both. So having them undated lets me like one, put the date in so I know when those days are. But if there's times when let's say it's a break and I don't really have anything to do, I could just cover those days and with like washi tape or stickers and then just do like a big spread of something without like the back being covered by I don't know like date or something like that which could be annoying and that's all for today thanks for watching me set up my six ring binders